uh, welcome back everyone so in the previous video we talked about schema definitions and where we uh, did a type definitions inside that we created a queries and uh, resolvers i mean queries and mutations and we define those queries and mutations in the resolvers now in this video we will do some changes in our code here we will just try to introduce the express server so it is the recent changes with the apollo server implementation that you can pass the express instance as a middleware and it will take care of all the other things like exposing this GraphQL web interface like query interface. So this is our resolver which we have written. Nothing, it's just an empty. This is our schema. Okay. And in the index.js what we are doing is we just change this. Uh, we define the port. We are creating the express instance and we are passing it in the apply middleware. This is something newly added. Okay. And we are listening to the port. Now after this localhost 4000 port how we can access these queries and mutations which we have defined so that is interesting and uh, so you can use this altair this is actually a add-on available on the chrome and the mozilla and what you just need to do you just need to hit this graphical endpoint and send the request i think graph iq should also be there yes I think we can use the another implementation of it. Wait a second. So first let's talk about this one, then we will figure it out. So here what we are doing is this particular add-on is just you just need to pass the GraphQL document. This is the document where our this is the URL where our document lies and in this document you can see what all we have. We have query and mutation. All the GraphQL server will have a query mutation and subscription. In the query you can see we have a three queries user get user by ID all recipes a recipe by ID and we have a mutation create user and create recipe right. So this add-on or this particular tool is helping us to write queries like I want to get recipe I will just get recipe I wanted to get a recipe by ID you can run that query you can add that query here first of all I will just make it empty and add query so you don't need to struggle while writing the queries or while writing the mutation this is very easy tool earlier also I have faced uh, I faced challenges but now it is very easy here you need to pass just a payload name email password and just hit it so currently our uh, apis are not integrated with any data source so it is just a dummy values we are having like we are hitting this particular query and let's see i think this is a query also there i'm talking about this user id so you have to pass the user id it can be anything like one it's a number you can run the query and we are getting the user data now because we are not running anything for now so you can send it okay so this is how you can help you can take help from this documentation i mean you can you you are able to visualize what is what all queries it is supporting what all mutation it is supporting and you are able to trigger them okay so this is the advantage of it and what changes we have done based on the Apollo server version 2 upgrade. Now we are we have created express server. We are passing the express server instance as a middleware. So that is exposing. We don't need to just use this GraphQL I graph IQL express now with this version 2. Okay, so that's it. In the next video, we'll extend this uh, code a little further and we are going to have a schema, multiple schemas and multiple resolvers over a different entity models.